Hi. Well, I have a bone to pick with you, obviously. Oh. Uh, right off the bat. Oh, so you were watching back there. What? Yeah, three feet away from me. <laughs> so you're, t- you're telling me you think Naomi Watts would taught me? <laughs> well, it's not just you, May. It was the It whole is show. the essence of the entire show. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I guess. I don't know. I mean, look, 23 minute episodes, we're in and out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you think you would top Naomi Watts? 100%. Wow. And that is really fun to think about. And that's kind of what we do here. I kind of was like, it's kind of what we do here. Maybe let's Um, all close our eyes and you describe it to us. Yeah, (laughs) just see what happens next. Oh, my God. Yeah, I love that. I was sharing too much during that segment. And that's just something we're moving through. You know what I mean? About whatever. Sure, sure, sure. I'm glad you were watching. Um, nice to see you. Thanks for having me. Oh Thank gosh, you for so nice. being here. We're huge, huge fans. Thanks. This is really exciting. It's so exciting. And then I know backstage, you and I kind of briefly talked about we do have sleep um, similarities. Oh, yeah. Which I would love to get into. You're also a sleep demon. Yeah. And I, I think, like, uh, I was, uh, I just started taking driving lessons and my driving instructor was like, you got to be more assertive. And I was like, I'm just not an angry person. And then I thought, uh, no, I, yeah. I am in my subconscious. <laughs> so I got this. So you're telling people to shut up? I'm, I'm saying a lot of, and my fiance is here and can um, let us know if I do this or not. But I believe it is shut up. I do think I said I hate you. But I think that that might have been more of like a nightmare. Okay. Okay. Um, is it clear? I feel like because when I hear it on the road, it is. It's not like it doesn't sound like sleep talk. So that's what is yeah. so jarring. Yes. Because it doesn't sound like oh, sh- like shut up is so cute. It sounds like clear as day. Like shut the fuck up. And yeah. I hate you. <laughs> and I hate you. And okay. I do think I kick as well. Like a kick and maybe a shove. Yeah. Like a little like light shove. And that was actually too hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you're, and you're bruised. Yeah. yeah. Um, I uh, have an app called Sleep Talk and it records your whole night and it's just activated by sound. Oh, so you wake right. up in the morning, you listen back, mo- a lot of farts. A lot of toots. <laughs> a lot of yeah, toots. Yeah, yeah. You're going to get that. Hum- humiliating. If you like, oh. yeah, but I have, so I have. Do you have re- all the toots? Uh, I, have, I was going to play my toots. Uh, <laughs> no, I have recordings of me being just unbelievably aggressive. Oh, in my, we, in my would you mind doing us the honor of sharing it. I'm going to try and find a few that that are good. I mean, some of them are just tragic. Like, there's... <laughs> I need to download this app. Okay, yeah, we got to record you, for sure. I sound lucid, too. This is not aggressive. It's just bizarre. Maybe if we turn the volume way up on the mic. Okay, see if you can hear this. I'm saying, uh, in a kind of radio presenter voice, I go, hi there. <laughs> and, and then I go, uh, and then I go, this is May, and there are three concubines. <gasps> I'm not kidding. First of all, love that I correctly gendered myself in my sleep. Yeah. You never know That's right, what your right. subconscious That's is doing. Yeah. My subconscious is like, yeah, I'm a little girl. I'm like, no. <laughs> I spent so much money. Um, <laughs> hey. Okay, I'll play this for you. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, see if you can hear it. I said, hi, hi there. This is May and there are three concubines. Like, what was that dream? Three. Three concubines. Okay, but the... the, the That's ter- I'm going to be honest, I, it's terrifying. Yeah. Well, it is so clear. It's so clear. Okay. Three concubines. But then this is the one that I think you'll, you'll relate yeah. to. So this was... Um, I was living in England at the time, and I'm in bed with my ex, and you can hear her sweet British accent, terrified out of her mind. Yeah. And I... First of all, I sound like Judy Dench. Like, there's... <laughs> Like Love. raw emotion. <laughs> um, okay, so this is this is it. And oh wait, okay. And also I, okay, I say okay, yeah, yeah. I'll just play it. <laughs> mm, didn't work. Wait. Shit. Imagine one person was like, "I heard it." <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean something? <laughs> I'm just like, I feel like concubine, the word, is so... When is the last time you heard the word concubine? Yeah, right. Especially in your sleep. I know, but I'll be thinking of it tonight. Okay, I got it, it. I got it, I found it, I found it. Okay, great, this will be, I swear this is worth it. Okay. This is a rat. No! Truly medieval, this is a rat. That wasn't the one I thought I was playing, but we're gonna... (laughs) 
I really did not. I did not want to play that one or mean to. This is, is a, a rat. rat. <laughs> it's pure Game of Thrones. Like I'm, someone's betrayed me in the court. Wow. Um, What's happening during the day? Okay. So this is. Imagine you're sleeping next to me and you wake up to this I, all the time. <laughs> Fucking hypocrite. I'm not gonna break up with you. And you're laughing. Okay, so that's you fucking hypocrite. I might break up with you and you're laughing. <laughs> then you then may. you hear you hear my, my ex saying, You you may you gotta wake up and I'm like, I'm awake and then <laughs> and then I say why I'm I say why I'm upset and it's heartbreaking. Okay. <gasps> I'm really pissed. What? Stop it, because you're talking and it's scaring me. Mm. It's so scary. Did you fuck Harry Style? <laughs> Humiliating. Humiliating. Could that be worse? Could well, that be worse? did you? Also, <laughs> did you notice that there's no S on the end of Styles? I go, did you fuck Harry Style? I'm so, <laughs> it's so abusive. It's like, it's so dark. And also at the time, I think, oh I think at the time I was sort of pushing for a non-monogamous relationship, which, and then in my sleep being like, did you fuck someone? Like <laughs> crazy, awful behavior. I promise I'm not like that in my real life. And I also am like, yes. I swear to God, I'm not this mean, but in no. my sleep, I'm a demon. you got to get it out somewhere. Yeah. yeah. This is a I'm, rat. <laughs> I'm downloading it tonight. I have get to. Get the app, get yeah. the app. You have to. Yeah. yeah. I would love thing. to use the clips of me doing that as like our new theme song. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And me just kind of being like, oh, are you okay? Sorry. You could remix it, yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that, that was really, really incredible. I'm was, so glad that we have that. Thank I you feel for vulnerable. Thank you for yeah. sharing that with Please, us. Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> wow. What a glimpse inside the psyche. It was really revealing. Yeah. Holy moly. Holy moly. I've had just last night, my girlfriend, she fell asleep first, which rarely happens, but she sometimes will laugh in her sleep. Aww. Isn't that just the opposite of what you freaks yes. do? <laughs> yes. That's adorable. It's so this sweet. Is, I literally, last night, I was like, what are you laughing about? She was like, I had a dream and you just won a bunch of money. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so, so like nice. things are going good at home. <laughs> <laughs> to me, I'm like, I don't trust that. Listen, right. I don't know what to tell you. I trust somebody who says, did you fuck Harry Style? <laughs> <laughs> Harry Style does seem like a like Harry Styles impersonator, doesn't yeah. it? The one on Harry Hollywood Style, Boulevard. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Okay, we have some fun questions for you okay, and we're just do. like so glad that you're here and you're also a sleep demon, which I feel like we're really trying to destigmatize yeah. sleep demons. <laughs> And like, it's okay to be a sleep demon and like, yeah, we're going to be okay. I yeah. was kind of also like thinking like they're mostly femme and now you're kind of representing the other side of that community, which is like really important representation. Yeah. I agree. hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> okay. Let's get into some questions, which also were like incredibly thirsty and I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, they were it. really thirsty. So we had to sift through it. Um, but I kind of <laughs> want to know. So I know you wrote a book about sexuality. We want to know who was or where was your first kiss and what would you rate it out of 10? Great question. Uh, summer camp, Northern Ontario, uh, I'm, and this is like my first real kiss, I think I'm saying. So 13. Meaning tongue? Yeah, like make out. Got it. Love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, before that, I had boyfriends who I like held their hand and we would slow dance and they would get a semi, and, but we never made out. <laughs> Incredible. We go from not making out, but there is a semi. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this was a, a boy called Kareem who was like a foreign exchange student at camp and it was the last night of camp and there was a big bonfire and me and this girl in my cabin were like, we knew we were going to kiss these two boys and we planned it and so the two of us and these two boys escaped from the thing. We went and sat in the woods and we sat next to each other and we we're like, okay. And then I, I kissed Kareem. He'd been eating Doritos. It was like <gasps> really, oh. yeah. And it was, but it was sweet, you know? And But then I, I've always felt bad because... I camp my persona was kind of like like a Chandler Bing type character or like Ace ah, Ventura. And, and the yeah. next day oh. I was like getting laughs from telling the camp counselors whose affection I really wanted, uh, like all about how he was eating Doritos. And I'm, I just hope it didn't get back to him because I was really like, man, this guy over here, just trying to get a laugh. But really, it was a very sweet moment. Yeah. So out of 10? Oh, out yeah. of 10? 
as far as first kisses go, like, you know, <laughs> seven, six. Wow. Incredible. For a Dorito mouth. <laughs> well, I mean, it's an F if you're like in school. I, I, but I'm judging, I guess like, I'm, I'm judging it on, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I'm, <laughs> I'm judging it on like first kisses. Yeah. And, and, and so on a first kiss like scale, it's a seven. On a regular kiss scale, it's like a 1.5. Okay. Because right. we didn't know what That's we were doing. Right. I feel like very early on, I do remember f- turning romantic kisses very quickly into fun ways to get laughs. Like very yeah. early to be like, oh, here's something that <laughs> the school kids are going to love this. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like what? No. Like too much Carmex or like whatever. You know, when you're like, for me at least, I was like kissing boys and I was like, this isn't for the heart. This is for the laughs. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Like we're not I, kissing boys for like <laughs> what? Love? Yeah. Yeah. I relate to that. Yeah. Um, what are some of your do's and don'ts when you first start getting in a relationship with somebody? Hmm. Okay. Well, look, I'm trying, I'm an evolving person. Mm -hmm. I think it, I I think it's changing a lot. I think, hmm. Okay. My new do is wait a while before you say we're together. We're in a relationship. Like Mm -hmm. I I, get to know each other first before you make that decision and then save yourself like a hundred mini breakups. Like, by really casually dating for a while and yeah. like, you know, no expectations, just getting to know each other because everyone should be able to go, you know what, we got to know each other and it wasn't right. So yeah, take your time and then, you know, don't ghost anyone. Like, mm. uh, don't order soup as a starter. This is a new thing. I've, I've just been thinking about that more recently. Really? Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, What's the problem with that? What's up with soup? Well, as somebody, I'm like a... <laughs> I feel like I we're kind of soup heads over soup here. Heads. Are you soup heads? We're yeah. soup heads in a big way. Okay. I don't want to eat something that will get. I don't want to be doing. Yeah. On okay. a date, I want to be doing this. Mm. You want to be like, look at me, suck it up. Yeah. You wanna I want to slurp in that soup. Yeah. I want somebody to see the shapes my mouth can make. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I want them to hear. <laughs> we're big ramen guys too, yeah. as well. Are you? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. horrified. I I guess like <laughs> to me, just I mean I don't love going for a meal on an early stage date anyway. But True. like, Same. if someone's ordering a, there's just something gross about ordering. You're gonna put a bunch of liquid in your stomach and then just what splosh, drop more food into it. Like, yeah, it's just having soup as a starter. Oh, like, you're it's timing for you. It's timing. For you're me. Like, like it can't be number one yeah, thing going I, in. Look, I like miso soup. I like ramen, but I don't mm-hmm. like a, a lot of liquid and then. Plop, drop uh, some more food into the liquid. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. I I'm in my head. So about you're it. thinking of the in- inside. inside the stomach, right? <laughs> well, I have a question. So, would it be Sloshing okay if, around. like, we were on a date and I yeah. ordered chicken wings first? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Then my meal is chicken noodle soup. I have some questions already. I'm like, chicken wings is bold, mm-hmm. but you know what? I'm, I'm so bold. Like, I'm uptight about like. I, myself, I, I always want to be clean and fr- so I actually really am attracted to when other people are kind of animalistic and like don't give a shit. I think that's really cool because I'm like mm, I'm also gotta wash my face and like uh, you know. May just- have you? <laughs> and I'm gonna change your world right here. Have you ever taken a first date to eat crab legs? Oh God! You will. It'll rock your world. <laughs> you see somebody fucking cracking it. <laughs> yeah. A fucking claw. And then going. <laughs> you're gonna freak out. If you want to see a messy, mangled, dirty bitch, <laughs> <laughs> you got a red lobster. <laughs> I like the confidence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The timing of soup is great. Um. All right. Okay. What? So that's a don't. All yeah. right. So don't on the soup. Oh my God. I'm, to me, that's a do. Yes. I go soup first. You're going soup first? I okay. am. Okay. All right. um, can you remember the first time that you were watching something or in a group of people and you were like, uh-oh, I'm not straight? Um, I Well, I'm lucky that I never, I never thought I was... Like, my parents were very like, oh, you're going to grow up and meet a person. And so I never really thought of myself as straight. Mm -hmm. But And then when I was like five, my dad showed me Rocky Horror Picture Show. My whole family watched it because my grandpa was in it. There's like a family connection. He was in the stage show, the original stage show with Tim Curry. He played the narrator, my grandfather. Holy shit. Yeah, I know. And like my dad used to go watch it in the 60s and like, uh, or whenever it was. And... uh, (laughs) 
And so he felt really emotionally attached to it. And they just didn't think like, oh, this is crazy to show a five-year-old. Yeah. yeah. So I watched it. I was so horny for it right away. Of course. And um, my first ever, like, I used to go to bed and get really horny <laughs> when I was a kid. And I would imagine, and I used to have dreams that I, that I was like, I was Rocky and I was hooking up with Frank and Furter. And then I think that was when I was like, I think I'm different to some kids. Cause yeah. <laughs> <that> was, <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, I guess there's, I can think of one specific episode of Buffy where I was like, why do I want faith Wait. and Buffy to fight each other? Oh, it was yes. those two. Yeah. yeah. Cause I remember watching Buffy as a kid being like, "Uh Oh, what's going on with Willow? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Willow was interesting. Yeah. No, it was all about faith. Yeah. I like that you wanted them to fight. Well, because I didn't know. You're like, some, just touch Tuck, more just contact. Just touch each other. Yeah, yeah. Tension, tension. Yeah. Okay. That's all I can think of right now. I don't, I don't know. Um, I remember watching Gia and that movie with yeah. Yeah, Angelina, Angelina Jolie. Jolie. Oh, and, yeah. Um, that being, was a lot to take in. It was a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And not really understanding and being like, I think I said to my parents, like, you guys got to watch this beautiful scene in this movie. And it was like the sex scene from Gia. <laughs> and they were like, um, cool. We'll leave you with that. To... You didn't say the entire movie. You were like, there's this one scene. scene. Like, this, I, I want to show you guys to watch. Yeah. I, I so really funny. didn't. Yeah. I definitely remember the first time my friend, my like straight friend, Nicole, my best friend was like, Hey dude, she, we're stoners. <laughs> so, <laughs> and she was like, "Hey dude, um Sarah likes you." Like this and this girl was like the most popular girl in school. She was so cool and it just and I had never dated girls before. I hadn't really occurred to, like I just and she, I was like, "Yeah, I like Sarah too." And she was like, "No, dude, like she likes you." And I was like, it was like all these clock gears just <laughs> like sifting into place in my soul and like these long dormant mysteries just like tumbling <laughs> into it. and like it probably was only like 0.5 of a second and I was like yeah tell her I think she's cool too <laughs> and I, I was like okay and then that was kind of yeah but it was nice my friend just assumed that I knew I was queer and assumed that <laughs> anyway yeah yeah that used to happen a lot when people would be like we were just talking about this I we're like all my sister's friends who were older they would see me and be like, oh, well, yeah, because you're gay. And I would oh go, God. what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I was adoring over that. You know, I'm like, whatever you need, I'll pump up your volleyballs or like, yeah. you, know? <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, because you, your sister's gay. She has a crush on us. And I was just like, what? Who? I was, I was like, why would they know that? Yeah, you know what, what I mean? I like bought about? them all roses. I'm like, what do you mean? What am I going to do with all these <laughs> carnations? I feel like we all have that story where the one person called us out like around middle school or high school. Yeah. yeah. And we were like, how do they know? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine you're wearing that. cargo shorts and golf clubs in your trunk and you're like, what the fuck do you mean? I know. <laughs> I was like on the softball team and I remember my friend came up to me at an ice cream store and was like, you're a lesbian, right? And I burst into tears. Yeah. Oh my God. And I was like, uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. I also, because I really... I'm attracted to men and I liked men. So I had boyfriends, but I sort of had this current vibe that I now have still. So I had boyfriends who were being like, I think you're gay or like, bye. And it was so hurtful. Cause I was like, I'm so into you. Like yeah. I was like so genuinely attracted to them. So then that made me kind of push back against it maybe for a while. But yeah, now I'm like, I just got to find the right guys you know? <laughs> <laughs> who are like into this vibe. Yeah. Which has been nice. I love that. Yeah. Okay, we are now going to get into our Ask a Dyke with you, which is our very fun segment. Okay. Um, I'm going to read a question, and then you can answer. Wait, how is that different to what we've been doing? Oh, this one's this from is, a listener. Okay, got it's it. It's sent it. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great point. That is great. It hadn't even occurred to us. Right, um, okay. <laughs> okay. Um... A couple of months ago, I was abruptly broken up with over FaceTime, uh, a week after going to Minnesota to meet her entire family. Let that just sink in. That's a lot. We haven't spoken since. She left her dog crate and some dog food at my place. Hmm. This crate, mind you, has been living at my place for about three months prior to her ending things. Hmm. 
Mm. I made a promise to myself that it will no longer be, uh, I will no longer be the person who extends olive branches to people who have broken my heart. Mm. In therapy, yes, I'm the type of lesbian who, fi- uh, who is friends with a lot of my exes. Huh? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I think she's like, I'm in therapy. Copy. I am usually friends with a lot of my exes, but I'm trying to not, right? I think in she meant in theory, theory, and she wrote in therapy. How did you guys know that? How did you go, yeah. Well, how did you get That's that? That's a big assumption. Who listens that good? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. So, given this new me, when is the time to donate and give away the stuff she left? Part of me feels if she really wanted it, she'd reach out. Please help. What do you yeah, think? I... I uh, I, I, I think this, I, I have huge empathy for this person, but I also think they're like choosing to make a thing out of something like in a way, like, cause they're still holding on to the pain. So of like, when should I get rid of the dog thing? It's like, this person doesn't care about the dog crate. Yeah. Nobody cares about the dog crate. I think you got to get rid of it. You got right. You got to get rid of the dog crate. Unless do you have a dog? Like it sounds yeah. like no. no. Right. This person is just having this dog crate. I think to keep the energy of that ex yes. around. Unless you want to oh, get no. into cage play. <laughs> yes. Which, which we... maybe they're expensive. They're not yeah, cheap. They're not cheap. So you've got a free cage. But no, I think uh, <laughs> I think you got to get rid. I agree. <laughs> like yeah. ASAP, right? Imagine you have a small apartment and like a huge crate. And yeah. it's like, ugh, not, oh my God. I think put it on Craigslist. I would yeah. sell it. Make money off this person. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Do you have, do, are you like a trinket keeper? Do you have trinkets from exes at all that you're like, I have to like get rid of this bracelet or whatever? Uh, okay. I like how this person said, in theory, I'm friends with a lot of my exes, <laughs> which is like, <laughs> does that mean they're not? Yeah. I, I, um, I, no, yeah, I, ha- I keep like letters and cards. If someone's gone to the mm-hmm. trouble of writing, I, I mean, look, I, yeah, I have a small suitcase. Um, <laughs> yes. I have a small yeah, suitcase. What? Like, yeah, what? Wait, wait, like a carry-on? Yeah, a small carry-on. Of Show just, me like, with your hands the size of the suitcase. Okay, it would fit on a plane. That's <laughs> a big carry-on. No, but it could go up there. I know, but the, imagine the shit that must be in there. A lot of paper. Paper and then, That's yeah, like some, some things. Like, I'm 36. I've had, a, you know, I, and I am friends with a lot of these people and I want to, like, keep the things. Is that weird? No. no I don't get not. it out and pour over it late at night with a bottle of wine. Right. <laughs> Do like, you? Look, I have. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a follow up question because we sometimes get this asked. Have you ever had, how do you get rid of sex toys that you have with partners that you break up this with? This is a great you're so good at this. <laughs> I'm scared of this audience, and like, I feel like they have strong opinions about things. <laughs> Although they didn't have that strong opinions when it came to feel good versus gypsy. They were <laughs> right. a little bit agnostic, but that's fine. Um, no, I think uh, I I think it was different when I when I was really broke. Mm-hmm. Then you're like, okay, I spent good money on this. <laughs> yes, like high quality equipment. I'm gonna mm-hmm. yeah, but now. I I don't know I I guess I I guess I'm due for a uh, you know what it is it's, it's rather you know what wait it's how like, many okay, do you wait, still you know, have from exes well what do you mean from exes like it's it's I have my own shit but then uh, I from also past relationships but I have some stuff that's just mine you just carry it on over that yeah that, okay. and then <laughs> am I saying the wrong things no but no, then, no okay but then also if I I'm dating someone new and it's like, then I might go with them to buy some stuff. Mm-hmm. And then in that case, yeah, I think I, 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 I guess I've retired some stuff okay. after, after the breakup, but I don't know. When you retire it, do you put it in that suitcase? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause I think everybody should, if you want to retire something, I always say you build a little boat for it. Yeah. You put it in the boat, you set it out, you give it a Viking funeral. Yeah. Shoot an arrow at it, light it on fire. This, I can, I'm, the image in my mind of like the burning stra- dildo yeah. is really powerful. I think yeah. we all need to be doing that. Yeah. I'm picturing you like on the shore with a little trumpet playing like yeah. some. We need more of that, you guys. Yeah. yeah. Send us your videos when you end up doing that. Yeah. Please do. I'll play it. <laughs> wow. May, we have had the best time with you. This is, I want to do more hours of it. I yeah. know. Listen, yeah. come back on the pod. Thanks so much for having me. Please, Thanks, guys. Maymar, and- <laughs>